Little cute little brain molds. So cute. everyone, I'm Megan Fox. I'll be your guest host on today's Celebrity Kitchen and we have a killer episode for you. Today I'll be making meatloaf inspired by Jennifer's body. Trust me, it's to die for. So let's get started. Oh, this just smells so human. They say that hell is like a teenage girl, but I think it's like somebody who treats you less than human, like a piece of meat, which is why today's meat comes courtesy of this chump, Chet. He thought he was a big man. Now he's just one and a half pounds of lean ground beef. <coughs> Are you scared yet? <laughs> Back to the master. First thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. That's like almost as hot as hell. <laughs> also, here's a little advice for all the women out there. If you find yourself out one night with your best friend at a bar where a cute rock band is playing and you wind up getting your flirt on with the lead singer, make extra sure that they aren't part of some Satan worshiping cult that plans on kidnapping you and sacrificing you in a dark ritual to gain fame and fortune. Just go home instead. So while our oven is gonna get hotter than hell, I'm gonna combine Chet, I mean the beef, with half a cup of pasta sauce. <laughs> Now add half a cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, half cup of shredded fresh Parmesan cheese, one third cup chopped fresh flat leaf parsley, half cup of finely chopped onion, one teaspoon of minced garlic, four teaspoon of black pepper, two large eggs, and sliced mozzarella balls. Oh, Chet. I'm gonna eat your soul. Where did that come from? Oh, right, I'm possessed by an evil demon, duh. Anyways, shape this beef mixture into an eight by four inch loaf pan, spray it with cooking spray, and then go ahead and pop it in the oven. Some people have said that I'm insecure. <laughs> what do I have to be insecure about? I'm only the co-star of two of the biggest franchises in cinema history. What do you think about that, huh, Chet? Um, my name is Phil. You look like a Chet. Please don't eat me. Yeah, we'll see about that. I'm gonna put some in these little brain molds. So cute. Let's see what they do. Oh, you little cute little brain molds. So cute. I love brain. I wish I had one. Now that our oven is hotter than hell, let's go ahead and put it in. Get it. Make sure you brush the top of that meatloaf with the remaining cup of marinara sauce. Red's my favorite color. Now it's time to bake our brains and our loaf. Let's do it. Well, all I can say is that I really hope that that silicone doesn't melt. So while we wait for those to cook, what should we do to waste the time? Mmm. Mmm. Phil tasted better than he looked. 
Mmm. It's Machine Gun Kelly, my amazingly, achingly beautiful boy. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, MGK. Best friends with Pete Davidson. Mm. I wrote you a song. You did? Yeah, it's called My Bloody Valentine. Mm. I can't stay forever. I just want to be with you tonight. So good. It looks like our meatloaf is ready for the next step. You're gonna go ahead and put mozzarella slices on top of the meatloaf and then you're gonna put it back into the oven. And it should just stay in there until it melts for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in for 10 more minutes. So it's just gonna be in there until the cheese melts. Is there any more of Phil left? No? Hmm. Hey, camera crew. Come over here for a minute. Oh my gosh, Chet, you look so good. Let's see how Chet tastes. Okay, so now it's time to eat it. Let's do it. I guess we need like a plate or something. Or not. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there.